Welcome back to session 12 of our, our Caverns and Covert adventure. I had to I double check and I didn't sounds want to get like it wrong again. R and COVID. It really sounds like you put an R in there somewhere. Caverns and, and Corvid. Is Corvid. What sure, I will go with that. Caverns and Corvid. Caverns and Corvid. Yep. Oops. Um, wrong door. There we go. So, yes. I think we come back in on Peter and not Ovik, uh, um, Emu. I was going to say Tilda as well. I was going to go through everyone's names. Emu and Peter. So Peter's finished rummaging through this um, little secret, secret hut, secret hut, secret cupboard. That he amazingly found. Um, Emu's just got off the the telebone. Um, again, if it was a bone, it would be so much better. Nah. I mean, is there an off though, or is it not just always on? Well, you know, that's true. Actually, it is always on. But <laughs> um, if if it wasn't off, you just had your um. Ah, there's a book. Blah 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 blah. I will look at that when we reconvene. Um, so yeah, so you're both kind of just in this room with all these bodies with their essentially belly buttons missing and um, various other corpses. Um, I meant to say because it was asked a bunch of times, they're not, they don't seem, they just seem to be like scattered randomly. There's no sort of pattern. Um, so like they're not like all like feet pointing into the circle and hands like spread out and in some sort of... Um, you know, synchronized swimming. Where they all in the circle? Or out the circle. Out the circle. The circle's completely empty. Mm. So, what's um, what's Peter up to? Looking for secret doors, I guess, and trying to not get too far split off from. Okie dokie. Um, uh, do you want to investigate more for secret door? Oh, um, and investigation. Yeah, go for it. And Emu, while he's doing that, what are you up to? Jesus Christ. Oh, you're very far away sounding. I think I would be trying to look around the room. <laughs> That's much better. And... Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, just trying to like get a get a, a an understanding for its um like its age and uh, basically continuing to try and figure out more about the rune itself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Do you want Do you want to in, do your own investigatory thing as well? Um. And. Uh, Peter, unfortunately, uh, you scour the entire place. You don't find any more secret doors or hatches or buttons or anything. What you do find is um, lots of dead bodies with the... <laughs> <laughs> can I search the bodies for, like... Do you know what? Anything? You can. Um... Or actually, I'd be kind of terrified, so I only search one. So you're going to search one body. Okay, do you want to... Yes, because I'm slightly disgusted. That's fair. Um, let's see. Uh, give me, like, just give me, a, like, a d20 roll. Okay. Um, so you come up to, like, uh, maybe not, like, the freshest looking body, but not the the, the dirtiest looking body. Um, as you kind of like maybe go through their uh, possessions or lack thereof, um, you find uh, you find that like within like the robes, they've got a uh, a wee sort of tattoo thing of a dragon eating a turtle on their rib cage. 
on the left side. I, I don't know why I'm pointing at it because you can't see it, but it's 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 there. You need to do another drawing. So the, they're what they have a tattoo. A small tattoo. A so here's my guy eating a turtle. Eating Dead a turtle. Guy. Yeah. So on. So there. There's the the tattoo. There's the missing belly button. Oh, he's also missing a belly button. Yeah, they're all missing belly buttons, apart from oh, okay. the the skeletons, because there aren't. Well, obviously, I guess they're missing belly buttons, but missing everything or else. Or maybe too. their belly buttons just expanded. Hmm. Or their belly buttons have grew dramatically. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Damn Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> um, and maybe if you like checked another body, you'd see it has the same thing. But if you do or not, that's that's down to you. Um, you might have actually seen that on your medicine check. Uh, emu. But I didn't mention it. Is that his first name? Yes. And her. It's just her, ti it's just her title. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Emu, as you're kind of like maybe walking around, looking at the... Kind of taking like the age of the place. Um, I think maybe you see that like... Um, especially in this room and compared to like the the sort of corridor thing that you've like led to this room um it looks like this room has been done up a few times in the past um although it's like ruined now it looks like there's obviously like sections where um newer building styles kind of like like a little progression as like maybe the wall goes along Um, so it goes from so, like so ancient have... to been trying to keep it keep up with them. Yeah, like and maybe like renovate it mildly. Yeah, um, but like, like you like... compared to like the hallway, like the hallway wasn't anything like that. Um, it just seems to be like this room. Um, I guess over like the entire time that I spend that Emu spends in the room, she'll be trying to figure out what its purpose was like was it a, a massive place of worship a fortification you know dwelling yeah like obviously it may maybe something that she's that's like it's on the back burner um so that would be a yeah. hope for her to have figured out by the end of um, her time here yeah that's fine cool uh, and we shall do like a you know rush down like zooming out of like emu as she's kind of like pondering the, these things, and uh, maybe she's like taking notes or anything, or maybe amending uh, amending some of the notes from, like maybe some corrections and some, you know, fact checking of what you'd you'd taken in previously. Um, and it zooms all the way out through the corridor and then into the other corridor up to, to Tilda and Ovek. Mm. As they, Ooh. I guess, look onwards. No, we carry on until the next interesting event happens. Yep. Uh, the walls start crumbling in and a giant falls from the sky. He says, no, Greetings. I said Greetings. interesting. Like to... <laughs> oh, that was interesting. <laughs> the language I know, come on. <laughs> and he says, in, he says, in giant ish. Yeah, that's why it's not interesting to talk. Greetings. <laughs> Would you like to browse my wares? You carry yeah, on, so um, yeah, yeah, carry yeah on. you can, you kind of carry on into the... Cautiously, the obviously, and in truth. Yep, you stand on all the traps and die. Um, you walk into a room of chests. No, no we <laughs> set them off ironically. There's a difference, Cal. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. <laughs> it's not a trap if you know it's a trap. Um, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, so you, I think you kind of, like, walk into this, like, what seems to be a big old library-type room. Um, almost as if it was a library. Um, but you said it seems to be, so it's possibly a giant mimic. Yes, rats. He's onto me. Um, yeah, and it, you know, it's like it's again, it's it's very sort of not kept very well as it's ancient ruin. Um, but there do still seem to be like some books just like scattered about the place. Um, in various degrees of rot. Uh, and it's quite, it's quite a large room, but like only like one of the walls is like maybe the right wall, um, is like for bookshelves, and the rest of it seems to be maybe it was all seating area. And there are a few bodies in this room as well. Um, 
all of them seem pretty pretty old um in like the the very late stages of decomposition hmm. so do we look like the bodies are all of the same time period uh yeah so they all um seem to be in like uh like you know are having they, died around at the it? same time yeah are they all like dressed the same or differently or like you know from what you can look there's one wearing like you know here is the crowned one or here's the one in plate mail yeah know, no or... they all seem to be of like maybe in sort of roby type things a lot of it's kind of rotted away but from what you can tell by just like looking at them it's um you know similar garb um, and I they all seem to point to and just be like, "Have you seen anything remotely like this at all? Do you recognize anything?" Gesturing to the bodies primarily. I, I don't know. Maybe we could roll some kind of history check combo together to see if yeah. either of us understand anything about maybe what the robes signify in any way. Try and like piece together the parts that haven't rotted on everybody's outfit to try and compile one incomplete outfit. Oh, yeah, go for that. it. Yeah, some time to form Voltron of history. I have a history of three if you... I have a history of negative one, so... Uh, well, we're bam! Fire away, sir. Hey, you did good. I have a history of 18. <laughs> your, hist your history's good. Oh, that's a 19. That's a 19. <laughs> 19 saves the day. So yeah, no, like, maybe you, you kind of, like, piece together some of the robes um, as you kind of put them together to make one single robe. Um, Voltroning the robes, it, uh, they all seem very kind of what you'd expect a, uh, an old. Um, I'm trying to think of the right word, like a scholar type um, uniform, uniform type thing. Yeah, so uh, definitely uniform. And do you know what? Any symbology uh, or names or anything? Or... Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say, there's the like maybe on the like the front where there'd be like a little badge there's like a very um i was gonna say rusted away faded away um mm. dragon eating a turtle um Aye. signet emblem thing there i mean for all we've learned really just by you and i mean you and like for all we've learned just now this could just be a fancy day spa like yeah. this could all just be fancy house coats they're all wearing um <laughs> and obviously something horrible happened in the other sauna room um, any ideas, Yoon, as opposed to Ovek? Because I mean, getting cultish vibes from everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting cultish vibes from everything that isn't the fact that we know that giant symbol exists, but we don't know in character. Yeah. Um, however, I just don't feel like I want to touch old old books just now, as much yeah. as it would be of interest to Tilda. I feel yeah. like Ryan's trap senses are tingling. I don't think that Ulrich would even take note of the books. I think I've got more things, like, I think I want to note the position of where this library is. Um, yeah, yeah. More so than it's marks on your that. mini map. Yeah, also, I want to try and do the mind mapping of where this would be in relation to, like, you know, like we all had like a good look around the place uh, from the outside. Yeah. So I want to do that kind of cartography overlapping, you know, thing where I work out, could there be something behind this bookcase? Okay, yeah, yeah. Structure? So, um, from the outside, maybe you were sort of able to, like, your mental positioning, as it were, as in this is fairly, like, deep inward, so there's, like, lots of um, building on the outside of this. Um, almost as if, the, like, this, maybe not a central point, but as if it was, like, um, you know, it's important enough to keep safe inside, um, yeah. away from everything, like, inside guarded by everything else um so there could be something behind the bookcase is what Tilda's thinking um since there is only one wall that is books mm -hmm. um yeah i think she'll just say that to Vic. as much as i would like to pour through the records kept here for any more information i would rather secure the location first before we take time uh, to distract ourselves could you perhaps help me investigate this wall to see if it leads anywhere? Or we to break it down. <laughs> um, 
not quite yet. Let's see if we can see for any movement on the floor or scuff marks or, you mm. know, anything that indicates that this may may open without the need for persuasion. And she just smiles Very a little. well. And then, yeah, I guess we'll investigate the investigate the, the bookshelf. Yeah, like um, perception it for the like you know scuff marks and stuff. Yeah, if that's cool. fine. Yeah, that's fine. I do not. Mind. I have a four for perception. I have Hope a zero. It. Okay, I will hope for the best here. Well, bam! Good buddy. Yeah. Maybe as you kind of like looking oh, it over. My rolls. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing Until really they well. Till the get to six. Mm. Something is telling us. Um. This is cultish vibes. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, so maybe like <laughs> as six and a sixteen for the next thing we do. By the way, we're bailing. Right. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe you're doing that thing again where you're looking for sort of like air coming through, like in between the bookshelves. I mostly as well like that and things like um, if the bookshelf does swing open or slide, there'll be scuff marks on the floor. Yeah. Um. And maybe like uh, Ovex just kind of like looking at it like from afar, and he sees that. Um, all the bookshelves align except for like the thirds on the left which all the shelves are like just a little bit lower um, and maybe just pops over to it and kind of just looks at it and it's also right. the only bookshelf that isn't part of the background art <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's the, the one that pops out you're here. like oh yeah. Um, it's got that um, the the lines in between the, the the bookshelf are just zigzagging every time you move the screen, um, and yeah, maybe maybe he kind of like leans on it while he's kind of watching what you're doing, and it just sort of swings open, almost like without him barely touching it. I hear that like that that creak of the wood. <laughs> yeah, I was okay. about to suggest that you would look for the book that has like the outline. As in movies, like the one book that you have to pull out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or um, if you're in like a, you just hold tab and hope all the things that you can interact yeah, with light up. Hold all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, how does it smell? Like when we open it, is there like a, you know? Um, do you know like that sawdusty smell? Yeah. So just old and like abandoned, in, as opposed to rot from bodies. Um. No, like um, you know, if you've been um, or if someone's been sawing, uh, or um, like th with their their power power sander thing, sanding things, we walk into someone's workshop. Uh huh. That sort of like woody smell. Yeah, it doesn't contradict not anything not. I said. Yeah, I said so. Not like rot. Oh, then. sorry, I thought you said uh -huh. so like rot, and and I was like, what? Mm, no, that's not. No. what I said okay, I that's fine. To make sure there wasn't things like rot. Coming out, no, you know, no rock coming out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then you hear the. Um. Okay. Um. I think I just looked all big. And then, is there anywhere else to go? In the. Uh, no. Like, so like, I mean, there's, like, an obvious um. Like archway that leads to like you can see right into it. It's just like a like a little. A, storage room with like shelving and stuff um, but other than that it's like the way you came in the bookshelf door mm -hmm. yeah, I just looked at Olvik and then look kind of tilt slightly in towards him and look towards the uh, the path shall we investigate further don't see why not and I calm you know I rocky talky my way over to Inu we have discovered a hidden way behind a bookshelf in one of the the further in rooms, I guess, of uh, the structure that we're investigating. There are some bodies long since dead here also. Um, cause of death unknown, possibly age, possibly some unknown but the, uh, they all seem clad in a similar similar robe donating the dragon turtle. You get this information, um, Inu. 
So any particular uh, incision marks? Blink. Zelda just blinks and looks up at Malvek and walks over to the body and looks back at the body and then actually looks for any kind of um, cause of death. Yeah. So um, would you want to give a medicine, but like I'll also tell you that there's no um, gouged out belly button or anything. Okay. Well, bam. Tell they definitely back. have a belly button. And that's about it. So they're going to die that long ago. Yeah. Or they definitely had a belly button, yeah. Like the it's like you know how like this like the skin sort of shrivels up. Um I mean it's not been like it is they've not been like rotting. I know they're they're really old and I wouldn't be able to tell much from the skeleton. Yeah, they're not skeletons. Okay, so they're not skeletons. No. They're just dead. On the like kind of what did I say, later bit of um decomposing, but like they've still got like their skin. Long since dead. Like Said they would have been dead a long time. Hmm. They've been dead a pretty long time. Okay, so a pretty long time and a long time are very different. Like well, we're going to go dead. for a pretty long time. Right, okay, cool. So they're more <laughs> recently dead than I thought. Right. Okay, okay that's fine. You know, more like... Their um... like their skin's just like shriveled up a bit. That means they've only been dead a, like maybe a week. No, 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 no. So like, right, okay. Yeah, buddy. Like almost, almost mummified dead, but they're not mummies. If that makes sense. Okay, so how do how were they preserved then? If there was no door to seal them in, that's a good question, isn't it? Right. So, to so what I'm saying is that means that your information saying like mummified, but that means they can't have been mummified to Tilda. So the only yeah. thing she could possibly work out is that they're recently dead. That's fine. Yes. Right. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. Cool. So, uh, I relayed that to Emu, that these bodies are more recent than uh, that, um, based on her relevant weight, which is probably about as accurate as that statement anyway. <laughs> um, and yeah, then, that's fair. <laughs> right? So, yeah, it's just obviously, like, me and you understanding what that means doesn't mean to say Tilda can, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, she wouldn't necessarily think there was some other unnatural spookiness preserving them beyond what they should be preserved. Are they armed in any way? Besides uh, not at all. Um, maybe one is armed okay. with a quill. No. no. Um, cool. With no, the like, tattoo that says the pen is mightier than the sword. With a big sword <laughs> on their back. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Although I think that might have to happen at some point. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think um, I relay that to emu and then just say i believe we're going to investigate where this uh, passage leads um and give her like rough directions to how we got to where we are ah good luck be careful i guess just um watch your belly button yeah i think there's just like a like a screwed up expression on tilda's face and um, she doesn't say anything back to that it's just a really rude expression on her face like what the fuck um, and uh, I say, yes, you too. And then I turn to Alvec and say, at least it doesn't smell too bad. Hmm. I've seen worse, or smelled worse. And then, I, I, I don't know, if you don't go in, I'll just go in. No, like, I'll, really... I'll, I'll go in. If we can both go in side by side, we can go in side by side. Do you know what? Know sure, that. you can. Why I not? squeeze through. And I... <laughs> that awkward way of getting through the door at the same time. Well, you both yeah. kind of go in, your shoulders get jammed together. Like, oh, oh, no. Uh, uh, it... Well, we're stuck forever. So. Yeah. Um, does Peter and Emu want to give me a perception? Say no. Does one of us want to do it with advantage? Uh, what's well, your or is it not that sort of thing? Um, no, it can both of you individually do it. <laughs> okay, um, Peter, yes. you notice like the slightest, the slightest, very slightest, like minutely slight, um, tremor, um, maybe a bit of dust kind of comes from like the ceiling a little bit. Peter literally jumps like a cat, as high as Peter can jump, which is 
Fall von Sky High. Echt ein Bestellscore? Ja. Und, uh, if there was a roof beam, P2 would have, like, stuck to it and been out there, but there are no roof beams, so he's gonna, uh, yeah, turn towards the wall and say, that, that, I, I, that one was moving just now, I, I, I swear it, I saw it, this is not natural. And he's gonna do some breathing exercises, like, he's <laughs> giving birth. Or he's, or he's turning into a tree. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> How do you mean? Like, it moved or something moved it? Oh, God. No, it moved. Um, I, I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it moved by itself. Maybe tell the others that they might be so zombos, some bezos, some birds. Tell that appears first. <laughs> There's a tremor. Zombies! I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you think they're zombies? Why else would they have a hole in their stomach? And I'm still sorry, move? zombies? You move? Uh, <laughs> wait one. <laughs> Definite panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you took care. No offense, Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I don't, I don't understand you. Why, why would zombies have a a, a hole over the navel? Well, <laughs> obviously not all zombies have holes in their navels, but if they have a hole in their body and they are still moving then surely they are dead and coming back to life. That is at least my thinking. Well, I guess I <laughs> make sure I've got my quarter stuff out. <laughs> yes. Um, Could you, like, peek his eyes open and, like, something? I don't know. I'm going to stay over here. Yeah. <clears throat> Stones are much more comforting. They don't move oh, without yeah. anyone touching it. I I just tentatively give one a, a nudge with the quarterstaff. Cool. Uh, and then we as as you do that we jump over to Ovek and Tilda as they step into the <laughs> step into the, the the bootcase room is what I'm calling it. Um, this room seems a lot airier and like just more pleasant to be in. Mm -hmm. And uh, is it lit well? Yeah, it's lit pretty well, but um, just, just by like the natural well. lighting. So like if um, cool. like almost almost that sort of like secret garden type feel, but not being a garden. It's in, it's like maybe more of a courtyard type thing, but inside, but outside. If that makes sense. Which it probably doesn't. I just realized the words that came out of my mouth. <laughs> um, do we feel that tremor, by the way? Is that something that like translates to us? Or... Um, Obviously, I'd never heard tremor because that was something that Thingy said. But like, do we feel... Uh, you do not feel uh, a tremor. Oh, okay, cool. So I literally just have whatever you move had said. Yes. In my brain. So like... zombies and whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think both of your... Like... Um, senses scream this has got to be a trap of some description when there's a little pedestal in the middle of the room with a box on it and there seems to be like a ray of light like pouring down upon it as like the, the, the angels go no maybe you should throw something to knock it off the pedestal I say I assume that your trap's in. Like, I mean, if I saw that, I would say it was a trap. But Spidey sense is a single. Yeah. Like, my Peter Tinker. And, mm. and just to clarify, it's not just a random Peter's box. Peter. It looks like the boxes. It looks like the boxes we already have. Yeah. Right. How okay. many of these fucking boxes are there? 
two seconds to have a look at my inventory, right? Because I must have something that can absolutely be proof of this. I, okay, I so, it off. so the box that the original box, right? Remember, I, I did took I took some time to study that quite quite you did, intensely. Yeah. And what are my thoughts on if I shot it with an arrow? It would nothing would happen, right? Like in terms of damage to the box, it was pretty robust, wasn't it? Yeah, um, I think you. Maybe like maybe even you like tried at some point like to to like make markings on the box or something, uh, and you find that it just seemed very robust. Like any like if you tried to like dent it or whatever, it didn't seem to dent very much mm. at all. Um, um, so if that makes sense, or like you know tried to, if you're trying to cut bits off it, it didn't really. Nothing you ever seen makes sense. Kind of. My my plan. You're uh, welcome. Of it. You. <laughs> Uh, I think Tilda dismisses her um, mandala like fan weapon and uh, takes the bow off her back. Everyone now realizes she's carried a bow this whole time. Um, I hold out some arrows. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have 30 arrows. Yeah, I was going to say, yes, like, just go to your backpack, pull out one of the 30 wonders, and uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, pull back and then just hit the box off the pedestal. Sure. And I have 30 arrows, so I'll do it till I hit. Do it till you hit, yeah. Um, do you want to Do you want to just roll... Uh, I was, yeah, I was going to say, just roll a d30 and see how many arrows it takes. I mean, I, I want to click the button, to be honest. Yeah, I'll go I for it. No, yeah, it. see if you actually, see if you hit it. She's actually... Um, I'll, I'll say it after I click. Yeah. She's actually reasonably good for the ball. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> hit it. Um, you hit the Whoa. box. And 19, that's pretty good. That's so good, right? 19 is all the way down. The desired effect of box flinging off pedestal. I hold my um, shield in front of me and sort of like get close to Tilda so that I could get my shield in front of her as well. I like to believe I just like fire the ball over you as like you've crouched in front with your shield kind of, you know, like, sure. not like, not like <laughs> was it pseudo style or whatever it's called. Um, and uh, I just fire it over the back of you and then sure. crouch down. <laughs> 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 oh dear, so good. Oh. Uh, I can't remember what the style's called, but yeah. Shield for mission. There we go. Do you mean Testudo? That's the one. The Roman Taurus. Yeah. Mm. So um, well, he's got his shield down in front. I'll lean, I'll just be behind. Stand up. Fire. Yeah. Go back down. I got the first shot. You did. But damn. And yeah, it. I guess. Yeah. Like, oh, no, we, we see what happens. Yeah. So, is so... There, can I draw the room? In fact, is that a thing, or can you draw the room? Because I would like more details. So sure. Traps. Right. There's that. And. Uh, oop. Can I change the shape? Yes, I can. Where's that? How can I not? Where's my circle to? Doesn't matter. We'll do a square. Pedestal. So. Oh, you did it. Thanks. Oh, wait. No, I found a perfect here. Um, yes, if... <laughs> that is good. <laughs> uh, let me see. That's I'm the easy. that's the door. So like, the circle to... is far too big. I, I meant to make it smaller. Yeah, that's that. But I guess so. Okay, but the, the square will do. Why is everything relatable to like the Marvel universe? Don't worry about it. <laughs> like, so what about that? Hell is happening to Iron Man? Like, where is this armor coming from? It's nanites. It's nanites. What? Small machines. Oh. Uh, Nano machine. Basically magic. Yeah. Or metal. Fantastic. <laughs> you mean. Or metal. No, no, magic is in this universe. Yes, what well, is not in this universe? Magic. Science. <laughs> no, right. I think what what do we call science? Do. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Right, so the orange is the room, right? Yep. So to speak. Uh, the red circle is what? Um, floor of some kind. Sure, like like if we imagine it kind of like steps down into that. So like um. Right. Okay. So we're outside of that. Could it not yeah. step up? Could, could it step up to like a pedestal type idea? Like where, you know. Like so door, I think this bit it? steps down, and then if um it go like kind of builds up the pedestal, like kind of steps up again into a pedestal. Right, okay. And then the red thing is the box on that. That's the box. Cool. Uh, I want to, I guess hit the box with as many arrows as it takes to get it out of the circle. It takes one. I think with the 16, you just kind of like knock Perfect. it off. Thank you. Um, out of the good circle. 
out to there. Um, out roll roll place. damage and see see we'll we'll decide there. That is actually. Do you know what? Sure. Yeah, it can be like there. Off max, yeah. <laughs> Tilda should have been using her fucking bow this whole game. Probably yeah. Good shot. <laughs> be hitting everything. Um. So. So sorry. Like the arrow land. If Ovex says that, um, to Tilda, a uh, good shot. I think um, Tilda look. Like, ah, oh, thank you. It's been many years since I've had to rely on these skills, but I'm glad to see old tricks and the dying hard. And I think she just puts it back on her, you know, back, I guess. And never uses it again. And... I mean, it served its purpose now, right? I Snaps think the bow. She needs a new one. <laughs> I think everybody um, feels like a bigger tremor, um, and just goes, and then just stops. Someone has a motorboat nearby. <laughs> That's fantastic. I mean, yes, yes, mm -hmm. powered yeah. by fantastic. Um, <laughs> right. Um, I guess I tentatively walk around the room t to get the box. Yeah. Tentatively. Um, Tentatively, yeah. No, you 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 just walk around the room. You can pick up the box. Does it feel like the other box? <laughs> yeah, it feels There's pretty much identical to the other box. Right, okay. Does it have that same pulse of energy that the other box had? Um. Yes. Um. Again, it's quite a dull, um, mm. pulse. Like it, you know, it's not like it doesn't seem like it's overflowing with magical yeah, like powers. Yeah, you can hear TV zone, but it's yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I think I just pick the arrow up if I can, then, and just walk back around with the box in the arrow and hand the arrow back to Ovik. By all means. Um, Excellent. Um, other team. Just look at each other and shrug, right? Yep. Maybe, um, maybe other team. Five. Do you... yeah. Stop <laughs> rushing his Callum. Where other team. It's because it's because of the slight like pause in between. I'm like, oh, that was a pause. Oh, wait, I was speaking. You and that was why. <laughs> Oh, sorry, me too. Um, yeah. That's See? <laughs> yeah. I, I tried to... I tried to <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, I high-fived back. Cool. Excellent. Other team. I guess Other we head team. back then, Cal. So, no, no, you don't. <laughs> A thousand damage. <laughs> um, other I'll team, you later. feel the big tremor in the ground. <laughs> Guys, I think they might be Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what makes you think that? I should have put like a like a proper like a little tremor in my voice as well. That would have been like funnier. So yeah, um, Emu and Peter, you feel like a big tremor this time. Um, maybe a lot more dust comes from the ceiling. Oh my god! And then it just stops like straight away. Um, what about the thing on the that? ground? Okay, right. Um, don't, don't answer both at the same time, Callum. Come on, you were asked at the same time. Answer at the same time. <laughs> Have I got like a doubler thing? Uh, the... <laughs> that didn't work as effectively as I hoped. Um, <laughs> Emu, what did Emu say? Uh, Emu says to Peter, "Was the anything like that the last time you were here?" <clears throat> Callum. The answer to that is no. Um, uh, no moving bodies, no tremors. No, I did, however, not get this far. Um, I kind of just looked at the outside and thought better of it and kind of walked off. Then where did you find the box? It's lying around the outside. I did skulk around the outside. And very curious. God stop me if I'm wrong. I no, 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 I'm, that's fine, door. carry on. <laughs> and I walked in it. And there was this box. And I figured there must be some treasure. And I took it and ran away. Um, that is fascinating. Was there anything that you had to do to get through the door? Well, open it. I did have to open the door, yes, <laughs> but it was unlocked. 
It's a really shitty cat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And obviously, yeah, totally I, you get the image much side of the conversation. Killing things. I am more of a just a, a salvager, or scavenger, um, type of person. Um, and as you say that, a hand grabs your ankle as the bodies start to move, <sighs> and zombies. No, I'm joking. I <laughs> scream <laughs> like a little girl and run out of the room. <laughs> No, I'm joking. The bodies stay where they are. Oh, okay. um, I believe he still does, still. <laughs> yep. I, yeah. I think one of the hands are grabbing my ankles, and I scream like a little girl. I'm gonna run it, run it. That'll do. Yep. Perfect. Also, to be fair, little girls are way braver than you give them credit for. Way braver than Peter. Yeah. <laughs> He's been here twice, and this place is spooky as shit. So yeah. There's, there's points for that, right? I've got your back, Peter. Don't worry. Yeah, nice. But he bravely <laughs> opened a door. <laughs> and An unlocked bravely door. And screamed like a girl, and this, bravely this ran out. full of evil, okay? It's full of evil. Nobody <laughs> wants to open doors to a place full of evil. It's like, how did you how did you complete your mission? It's like, oh, for plot reasons. <laughs> I just walked in, actually. It was pretty easy. It was really easy. Uh, I was good off camera. Actually, it was the easiest. Uh, <laughs> this is Peter. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ran away, ran away. Oh, he bravely God. ran away. <laughs> <laughs> Only he has all of those characters in one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Callum, did you get my message? Uh, no, but I did now. Do we feel the tremors? Yes, you felt the tremor there. Okay. Um, I feel like um, I would like to swiftly, with Ovik, make our way to a less tremor-filled zone. Yeah. Um, again, it was just like a maybe like a, a second of, of tremor. Um, and then it's just stopped. So it was like box landed on the floor, the ground went brrrr, and then stopped. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. I don't know cool. why I said yes. That's, That's fine. fine. Yeah. Yep, cool. We know. Weirdly, I knew what that was for, yeah. <laughs> Good. Um... <laughs> right, so... Um, carry on. Uh, yes, so... Uh, Emu and Peter, do you want to per perception, perceive? You can both do this, I guess. Like, um, uh, hang me do blah, blah. Like help advantage each other if you want. Or both yeah, advantage. Of us. If you like. Okay, am I the best uh, yeah, receiver? So. <laughs> nice. Never mind. It was worse than <laughs> without. I should just stop rolling the advantage. It doesn't help me. Here we that go. was pretty good. See. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, it's fine. Um, it wasn't gonna be hard because um, the okay, okay. Uh, maybe as like Emu's kind of looking down the way and. Um, like to the south part of the the room, and maybe you're kind of like facing Emu, and behind Emu you see the the big cultish symbol in the middle of the room starting to glow a little bit. Oh God. Um. Uh. uh well, am I in the room? You are <laughs> in the room. Yes. The room. <laughs> or have I bravely walked or <laughs> bravely run away? Back? <laughs> I wouldn't have run far. I would have just run out of that room, probably. And I would like peek back through the door. Okay. And I'd see that thing lighting up. Um. Um. The RV guys. All right. Okay. There's something going be right behind you. Um. We should probably get out of here. Trembling. Very bad in these sort of places. Um, like, is when we were in that first dungeon, what, 15 weeks ago, um, <laughs> when, like, Ovek stood in the, uh, circle. This one here? Um, <laughs> yes. Um, and did it light up when he, when he, like, activated uh, it? No, it didn't. It sent out this, like, 
energy like this this like single like pulse of like energy light stuff and then that focused in but the actual symbol didn't light up but now it is very now the symbol is very much lighting up that's the the thing for anyone there from all so long ago anyway back to where we actually are Um, oh, carry on. Um, Monsieur, uh, have you any knowledge of the arcane? I say it's not obvious. I assume that was directed at Peter and yeah. not the corpses. <laughs> so, what was that? Uh, I was just asking, do you understand any sort of magic? <laughs> oh, um, well, um, Quickly check, sorry, can I? Well, yeah, um, I, I dabble in m magic, but this is probably beyond me. Roll also current check. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Definitely beyond de you. This is way beyond me. <laughs> this is a big glowy thing, um, and it seems pretty, like, It's glowy. fantastic. It's like, no, magic. No, it's magic. It's not did fantastic. it seem to glow, start glowing at this same moment as the tremors? Or was... So, like, shortly, like, the tremor happened, the tremor stopped, then the glowing. Like. Um, then I think I would say into the into the, the, the rocky talky. Uh, Tilda, did you do anything? We got a. The, there's a um, magical rune that is lit up, and there seem to be tremors. Uh, and it's starting to light up a bit more now as well. So it's you know, glowing intensifies. Magical rune. Can you describe it in detail, please? Let's see if I understand it. Uh, it is identical to the ones that we saw in uh, the the place where we first met Tokja. And she like describes very briefly, like the the symbol on the floor, to see if that's what you're talking about. And you're saying it's glowing now? It started glowing a moment after the tremble stopped. Uh, where are you? We'll um, meet a safe distance away from that room, shall we? Um, and then if you could describe where you are. That'd be this cool. is where Cam tells us this thing has limited charges and we're not out of charges. <laughs> 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 Yeah, That'd so be so words. fun. Give us some super powerful item and don't tell us it has charges, and then sit there and count the charges, <laughs> and then be like, "Ah, oh, it's out of charges." Sorry, you've you've, you've you've run the reception's gone now. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fifty texts already. What are you talked about? Um, so it's uh, yeah. through how many cycles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait till the next cycle to get our fifty texts again. Um. um but yeah, so does he move to give me directions to where you are, so we can book it there? Uh, yeah, I guess. Cool. Cool. I, um... I guess I, I relay this to Ovek. Ovek, it seems like the symbols that were crushing you in the uh, original temple seem to be glowing where Imu and Peter are. We should... And then I think Tilda just starts jogging and then running. Yeah, I... Take the same cost, um, take the same haste in mm. directions as running. Yeah, and we, we, we boost the fuck that way as quickly as we possibly can. Cool. Somehow I'm still getting ahead of you, considering I'm like two, three feet taller than you. Yeah, that's fine. I think there's like a few moments as you're kind of like hoofing it back, um, where there's a couple more tremors. Um, mm. Big, um, I was going to say rune room. Uh, it's cultish symbol room, Fallen guys. Room. <laughs> Richter! Um... <laughs> On the Richter scale, you could say. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell. Um, so yeah, so we've got um, Peter kind of kind of hiding on the, like, almost outside of the room. Is Emu doing anything well? There's a way. The going starts um, to intensify sure a lot more. <laughs> into <laughs> it. Um, but, yeah, just trying to, to keep... Um... To, you know, having having a good look around as much as I can, but probably not doing much. Cool. 
Um, so you you said not stepping into it. That's right. Very much not. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I wasn't wasn't sure. I missed the first part, but yeah. So I think you know, there's again, uh, like there's some intermittent like tremors. They're getting quite like heftier each time. So maybe like three or four times it happens. Um, and each time, like afterwards, the glowing intensifies, um, even more in the thing until it's like a really bright light. Um, at this point, Emu, where are you standing? Um... Safe distance away is the only acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> so, if this is the room. <laughs> And ooh, what have I done? Oh, it's a smaller room's appeared. To... And this is the cultish symbol. <laughs> because I still... I still not draw circles. <laughs> oh, let me draw a circle. I thought you need a whole shift. Oh, is that how I do it? Nope, that didn't do it. <laughs> it's alt. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um, you might as well draw it now that I've done it. So this is the cultish symbol. It's not that big, but um, oh my. Where in the room are you? Where is the door? The door where Peter is is there. Dollar. <laughs> um. Then. And that's I the guess... the secret cupboard there. Yeah, I would probably be standing not quite like in the door, but ooh, in the room, but nearest to the door. Cool. So and... those are alts for me, by the way. If you want to try that. Yeah, yeah I got that. it. Yeah, we got that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I it's all good. Shift. I said shift, but then Callum said it was alt for me. Oh right, right, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> we got there. <laughs> we all got there in the end. So Some I think at this others. point. Um, I think maybe Tilda and Ovek are like just in the corridor, like approaching the room. So maybe you see like um, uh, Peter's back. So like you know over here, and then like Peter's like here, okay, or whatever. Um, as like in the center of the 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 this this cultish doobly doo, this gentle person appears. Oh. He just appears. Oh yeah, like oh. um, just oh, like fuck. materializes in the the center of the the thingy, and then all the light dies down. And I think Peter passes out for a second. Um, I don't think passing out is a really good idea. <laughs> it's just um, slight um, what's it called? Nauseous. It goes, yeah, it goes faint. Yeah, like yeah. It goes faint, but doesn't faint. Just yeah. that moment of like, no, like uh, was it blood pressure drop? Yeah. Yep. There you go. And you just hear like a big like I asked Peter Connick, what does that translate into? As in, oh I'm <laughs> quite stiff. <laughs> and we'll end there. <laughs> he doesn't say oh I'm quite stiff. But no, it's like um it's 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 like a groan as opposed to like a word. Mm. Um okay. and yeah, we'll stop there. Um, before I do that, how okay. are we feeling, everybody? I feel fine. Good. I feel more alive than I did at the start of the session. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am very disappointed that I didn't get to uh, dubious pottery anyone, but other than that. Good. Well, do you know what? Just for you. What is it? A wisdom save? Yes. Oh, yes. oh you got oh. it. Destroyed. What was that? Six. Mm. Is dead. Roll the 19, buddy. Uh oh, that is oh. the best. Best ending I could have. <sighs> Might as well give up now. <laughs> oh, it's such a good insult, too, because he's just gone, and then I say, 
Oops. Isn't it rather dangerous to use one's entire vocabulary in a single sentence? <laughs> 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 Okay, uh, I dig that. That's brilliant. <laughs> uh, no, I'll put his, I accidentally set his health to six, which is probably not. That is, <laughs> I, I that is the most powerful mockery <laughs> you've ever of... seen in your entire <laughs> life. Did uh, a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, what do you want well, me to call the session? Way. There's some really good, um, good candidates, I think. What was the one I mean, you wrote down? I wrote... I summer of like, six foot nine, I think. Yeah, the summer of six foot nine is just too fucking glorious. <laughs> yeah. there, so it could just be summer of six foot nine. Yeah. Now, are we going um, that or the words yeah. foot? No. I think that looks nicer because then it looks like summer of 69. Mm -hmm. yeah. Score. Excellent. Yeah. Unless tears in the rain um, was important, or I don't know something involving what just happened. Rocky, I feel like tears Sally Bone, and... Stony Pony. Mm. <laughs> I feel like tears in rain could come up again. Summer of a six foot nine was so yeah. good. This one, <laughs> too, too fucking perfect. <laughs> Not to pat myself on the back, obviously, but I will. It was too yeah, it's too good. It. It's too good. Well done. Uh, thank you, everybody. You're most thank welcome, Blaine. How much XP do we get there? Um, yeah. So, uh, you can, because that was very... Do you know what, actually? I will just give you... What's the XP on this? No, that's their hit point. It's like the, levels. some kind of bidding war you're having with yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a lot of XP. Um, so... I'm happy just going to level six. I, don't I was just going to say, do you want to just level up one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, will, I, will, I will take this. Thank you very much, yep. precious man. That's fine. Um, out of interest, though, Actually, how yes. do you want this to level? Do you want this to level four next time, which is obviously in like month, three weeks or whatever? But like, mm -hmm. do you want this to level for that and be fully rested for that? Or level up but don't get the new things until we've taken a long rest how do you want to deal with that um i think uh because of the circumstance says um i think uh you can just just level up um but like spell slots and stuff um stay um until you long rest like your long rest rules and stuff but you, you get cool. your new ones so so, so if you like get like if you get like new spell slots, you get we, those. We literally Sorry. never long rest, <laughs> ever. We've long rested once in that how many? In twelve <laughs> sessions. We've, we've done. We've rested. We long twice. rested you after the first one. I was gonna say we long rested after the carriage ride here. Mm -hmm. Oh right, that is true. I we did. So yeah. we rested three times total. And I get my key on a short rest, so. <laughs> Just also, the reason why I didn't want to, I didn't want to long, sorry, short rest, because we'd literally taken ten steps inside this built, like this room, and then six seconds later, people were like, "Oh, I need an hour rest." I'm like, I don't know if we should, right? That feels gaming. Um, yeah. However, the idea, like the clarity I wanted between you and uh, Cinder talking there was, so if I got like a level four magic slot, which I don't get, but like if I did get that, would I get to use that or not? Yeah, so cool. like um, all new things, you, get, all new all things, you just things. you get. So if you get like new spell slots or like more spell slots, you can add that one. Um, yeah, that's the new number we type in. Oh, thanks, Ian. Uh, oh, sorry. Where, where is that number? I should, I should have said like 27k or something. 34k. <laughs> Made it level nine or something. Yeah, so it's four thousand XPs that we should be on total now. Or really, fourteen, sorry. And fourteen. Not, yeah, fourteen. Wait, so sixteen fifty is level five, and six no, fifty. Six thousand five hundred is level five. And fourteen thousand is level six. Yeah. Yes. That's a pretty big difference. gap and a half. And I mean, you've also got to remember, like the the actual, like if you're doing it like combat XP, the things that you're fighting give more XP. Yeah, yeah. that is true. But that's like twice as much, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I sure. saw a chart that showed it was like, um, it was linear. 
Yeah, I'm gonna not do this pop down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a recipe I've for learned. disaster. I've learned from my mistakes. Brilliant, right. Well, thank you all for playing. That was fun. Thank you very much for DMing. Thank you, Cameron. Um, and we thank shall you. reconvene in the future. Welcome to the world of Bye. Bye.